Hi, this is Teo from Pocketblocks.com. Today I want to show you this Sailor fountain pen with a cross music emperor nib. Let's take a closer look at it. This is the standard Profit 21 body for the Sailor fountain pen. It's a torpedo shaped body. It's very well built, smooth, very nice finishing. I like the tapered tops and the bottom. So the cap has the gold trimmings and I would say the typical placers. But let's take a closer look at the nib. This is the nib. Let's talk about the different parts first. First of all, they have this tab on top. This is the so-called Emperor tab. I'm told that it's made of pure gold versus the 21K gold nib. So this is made of pure gold. And this works as an ink reservoir. So ink will collect between this the nib and this Emperor tab here, in between here if you are going to use this as a deep pen so this pen will have more ink flow the other th special thing about this pen is of course the cross slit not sure if you can see it but the slit is crossed in this direction and in this direction because of the cross slit this pen is able to put out more ink for when you're writing or when you're drawing and the third feature for this pen is the lines that it can produce if you notice that the nib has a pretty broad surface area so you can create very broad strokes and if you turn the nib around this way the nib is actually cut in such a way that this side here is quite thin so when you are doing a downward stroke it's going to be like very thin but when you're drawing it on a broad stroke uh, horizontally it's going to be very thick I'm going to show that to you later so this is what they call it a music nib but in this particular case the nib gives you a vertical thin stroke and a horizontal broad stroke as compared to other music nibs which give you a vertical broad stroke versus a horizontal thin stroke so that, that's the difference between this music nib and other music nib I'm going to refill the ink now this pen uses the standard sailor converter so you can get that converter anywhere and I just dip it into this bottle which has noodles ink this is the nib that has just been dipped into the ink bottle. You can see that there is quite a bit of ink collected between the nib itself and the Emperor tab. And also the feet is loaded with ink. So I'm just going to remove the excess ink before I start drawing. Let me show you some strokes before I start drawing. So when I'm holding the pen like this and I go down, I get a broad stroke. And if I'm holding the pen in a vertical manner, like as in this direction, when I go down, it will give me a thin stroke. So the variation is quite big. And because of that, you can get thin and thick lines very easily, depending on how you're holding the pen. If you're writing text, Just tilt the pen higher and you will use the tip of the pen. So you can see that this is quite thick and this is a bit thinner. Let's do a drawing now, a drawing demonstration. I'm going to draw uh, this picture here. This is actually one of my favorite pens for drawing because um, you can get the thin and thick lines variations very easily. More easily compared to the other pens that I have and that is why I like this pen very much. So if I want to draw the top of this tower here, I can use a thin line. There's also a wind vein up there with a chicken. If I want to take lines, I can just move it sideways like this for the building. So 
So just how you notice the thin lines and the thick lines. Sometimes I swap between the thin, sometimes I go for the thick. And also I give the lines a bit of a wiggle to give it a bit more characteristic. You can see that the lines, uh, if you don't pay attention to how you are using the pen then well, the lines will just come out thin and thick on its own because as you are drawing you are moving your hand around that will give the line its own characteristic also let me do some hatching i'm using the thin lines for the hatching because it has a pretty broad knit it's very good for coloring filling in places where it's dark very fast And because of that, it uses up a lot of ink as well. If you are using this pen outdoors, then I would recommend you bring an extra ink bottle. I prefer this music nib as compared to the other music nib, which um, gives you a different stroke. I prefer a vertical thin stroke that this nib can give me, so uh, that's why I like this particular pen so much. See, I can draw a very thin line for the eyes, and if I wish to, I can use a very thick line for the pupil. So, I use the thin lines to give it the hatching lines to produce to draw the hatching lines, and then use the thick parts for the pupil. And So if you want to put little dots like this, you can do so. It's a very versatile pen. Do some hatching lines for this headband that the guy is wearing. I'm using a paper here that it has some sort of a texture. But if you are using a smoother paper, then you're going to get sharper lines. Now I have some dry uh, edge effect here because I wanted that. This nib works very well on all sorts of paper. When I showed my friends this particular nib, they went out to buy it. and So that's a warning to you. Uh, but I think you have already watched so much of this video already if you have reached this part so you might be tempted to buy it this is quite an expensive pen and because of that I always use this particular pen with care I take extra caution not to drop this or hit this pen against any surface because it's really very pricey So you can see all these dry uh, edges here because I use a very quick stroke. But if I go slowly, you can see that the edges are a bit sharper. And that has something to do with this paper as well. Why I like this pen so much is because the lines can change from thin to thick um, very effortlessly as and when you have little changes in the way you hold your pen. So we have thin here, thick, and then becomes a bit thin again. And you notice that here it becomes a bit thick, and then goes down to thin, and then it has a, a bit thick parts again. So it really gives the sketch a bit more characteristic, makes it a bit more interesting than just using a pen that can produce only uniform lines. This is really a very terrific nib with a price tag to match. If you go to some online stores, they will be uh, probably selling this pen at US $700 thereabouts. Because Sela is a Japanese pen company, you may be able to find the Japanese sellers on eBay. So I would recommend you go the eBay uh, route and you can save quite a bit. And when you're buying, um, 
from my personal experience, I don't experience any additional inflow because of the Emperor tab on top, so I don't think that is really necessary. And without the Emperor tab, you will also be able to see the carvings on the nib itself, which I think is a beauty, but now it's covered up. Without the Emperor tab, I don't suppose that it would affect the ink flow because there is already the cross slit which gives out a lot of ink. Anyway, sailor pens, uh, from what I have experienced, they typically do not have any problems with uh, ink flow. So this is a very terrific pen. That's all for today's pen review. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. I will also post some links to um, other pen reviews as well in the video description below. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so for more pen reviews, art product reviews, book reviews, and sketching tips and techniques. Thanks and have a nice day. See you next time.